Hello, everyone. Today, I am going to talk to you about signs and symptoms of diabetes. You may have just been diagnosed with diabetes, or you may have been struggling with diabetes for a while, and you may still be experiencing signs and symptoms. We are going to explain what those symptoms and signs can be and why you may be experiencing them. Tune in, alright guys? So, basically today we are going to talk about all the signs and symptoms in detail. But first, let's summarize what those signs and symptoms could be. Excessive thirst and urination are very common. Excessive hunger, fatigue, and tiredness. Weight loss, nausea, dry mouth, aging, dizziness, frequent infections, decreased or blurry vision, dark velvety skin, numbness, tingling or pain in the feet, foot ulcers, erectile dysfunction, chest pain, slow healing sores and cuts, frequent infections, dry mouth, itchy skin, and urinary incontinence. So let's go over these symptoms one by one. Hopefully, we will try to cover almost all of them. So basically, you will have excessive thirst and urination because your kidneys can handle only so much blood sugar. What happens physiologically is your kidneys will start excreting excessive blood sugar once you hit the blood sugar threshold of 180 and above. In diabetics, that threshold can be a bit higher. But typically, in normal individuals, if your blood sugar goes above 180, your kidneys will stop absorbing it. The job of the kidney is actually not letting blood sugar go down because it's valuable. So the kidneys can only absorb so much, and after a certain point, they start excreting that excess blood sugar. At that point, blood sugar is an osmotic substance, which means it attracts water with it. So every time you excrete sugar in your urine, you will also excrete water with it. That's going to cause dehydration, excessive thirst, and a vicious cycle of urinating and drinking to compensate for water loss. Excessive hunger happens because when you have uncontrolled diabetes or are just getting diagnosed, you probably have very high blood sugars. These symptoms typically happen if your average blood sugars are running more than 200, which corresponds to around 8-5-9%. When your blood sugars are high, your body signals hunger because it senses that blood sugars are being wasted. Insulin resistance is another problem that can cause hunger, but it may or may not be associated with excessive urination. Fatigue occurs because your blood sugar is high, but your tissues cannot effectively use it. Your body is like having $30 million sitting in the bank that you can't use. Sugar is the primary energy source for all organs, and even if you don't eat sugar, your body will make it. However, when your blood sugar is too high, your tissues can't use it properly. Nausea is a common problem, especially in the morning, as hyperglycemia can slow down your stomach. If your stomach isn't moving properly, it can lead to acid reflux and combined with high blood sugars, it can cause nausea. Dry mouth can result from losing a lot of water through urine and not compensating for it, especially if you are physically active or using drying soaps. Dizziness can happen due to changes in fluid volume and dehydration. Most symptoms boil down to dehydration, so intervention to bring down blood sugar is crucial. Blurred vision is common with high blood sugars or rapid corrections. Diabetic retinopathy can also contribute, and if blurred vision is not temporary, seeing an eye doctor is essential. Numbness, tingling, and pain in the feet are common symptoms of diabetic neuropathy. Even if you are not diagnosed with diabetes, these symptoms can occur. It's crucial to be aware and check your feet regularly, as delayed wound healing can lead to severe complications like infections and, in extreme cases, gangrene. Erectile dysfunction can be an early sign of heart disease or diabetes. It's important to address these issues promptly and not dismiss them as a natural part of aging. Weight loss can happen rapidly in type 1 diabetes, but can also occur as an early symptom in type 2 diabetes. Now, you might wonder why diabetes causes these symptoms. When your blood sugars are very high, your pancreas, which produces insulin, can't keep up with the demand. As a result, your body can't use the sugar effectively, leading to various symptoms. In our Diabetes Care Center, we take a personalized approach, understanding your unique situation before recommending any actions. We believe in crafting a plan specific to you, considering your desires, social factors, and financial situation. To maintain control over your health, monitoring your blood sugar, blood pressure, and other measurements is crucial. We can help by evaluating your data regularly, ensuring your numbers are under control. Our goal is not just managing blood sugar, but optimizing your overall health. I hope you found this video informative, and I am optimistic that you now have a better understanding of diabetes.
In future videos, we will delve into specific aspects such as diabetic retinopathy and neuropathy. Remember, we are here to be your best friend in your diabetes journey.